Simply put, an SIM, or embedded SIM card, lets you use your device without a physical SIM card, and, therefore, a SIM card slot. Even though the number of devices that use it has stayed low, Apple's announcement that the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Pro will be SM only means that other smartphone makers will soon follow suit. Apple wasn't actually the first to do this. The first flip phone with only an SM card was the first generation Motorola Razr. But until now, the trend has been for phones to be able to use both an SM and a regular SIM. In these situations, phones use SM instead of a second SIM card. That means they still have room for a regular nano SIM that you use the same way, but you can add a second number or data plan through the SM. Is there anything bad about SM there could be a problem for consumers in terms of what they can choose. If a phone is only sold through one company, it's possible that all handsets could come with a certain network already installed instead of being open to everyone. Also, eSIM makes it hard for people to switch phones without contacting their network. Obviously, most people won't care about that, but it will turn off some. Most people with Android or iOS phones won't be able to store phone numbers on SIM cards for much longer because of cloud backup. However, people with older or cheaper phones will have to change the way they think about things because they won't be able to physically move a SIM card to a new phone. What kinds of devices can use SM Apple said that the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Pro will be its first phones without a physical SIM card. This comes after the iPhone XS, which added support for two SIM cards. SM is also used in the iPad Pro and all Apple Watches since the Series 2 model. Google's Pixel 2 also had SM, but it was only used for Google's Google Fi service in the US at first. Now, every Pixel phone since the Pixel 3 has the option to use it, instead of a regular SIM card. Same goes for Samsung's Galaxy phones, starting with the S20 series. How to use an SM to turn on Google Fi on your iPhone as we said, the Moto Razr flip phones now have SM support, and Windows 10 and 11 also have SM support. Some devices with cellular modems, like computers with Snapdragon processors, can use SM instead of a traditional nano SIM. Oppo announced that its Find X3 Pro phone had the world's first 5G standalone SA, compatible SM. This SM was used in the Find X3 Pro. This means that SM can now support the latest 5G networking standards. Around the world, lower latency 5G SA networks are being set up. What kinds of networks can use eSIM? There are some carriers that offer eSIM. You'll need an app from your carrier or a QR code that you can scan. Again, the carrier must be able to work with eSIM. Usually, all a customer has to do to get an eSIM pack or download an eSIM is go to a nearby store or call customer service. While you can get a SIM pack from a store like the one shown, but it doesn't have a SIM card. Instead, you get instructions and a QR code that your device can use to get the information. Like a traditional SIM pack, each eSIM pack has its own number. What do devices need to know about eSIM since SIM cards and the tray that hold them are no longer needed, phone makers should be able to make smaller phones. Also, networks don't have to make or give out a lot of SIM cards. eSIMs will also be great for other devices like laptops and tablets, which will become the norm for having seamless connectivity. Vodafone says that eSIMs will allow more connected devices because they don't take up as much space inside a device. This means that fitness trackers or even glasses will be able to connect to 4G or 5G networks on their own, which they couldn't do before. How will eSIM be used in the real world when you are connected to two different networks and have both a physical SIM and an eSIM? Your iPhone will show both networks at the same time. Customers can get calls and texts on both numbers if their phone is in standby mode and both the SIM and eSIM are set up. You can then pick a default line that calls SMS, eMessage, and FaceTime all use. The other line is only for voice and text messages. You can also choose to use secondary for cellular data only. This is useful if you're using a local data eSIM while you're traveling, 